Local 5 is celebrating International Women's Day. Tonight we introduce you to our first finalist for our Remarkable Women Month. She's from the Bear Clan, the Keepers of Medicine. Pearl Webster is the living embodiment of treating the person along with the illness, and her contributions go far beyond nursing. He said, I'm calling to tell you that you were chosen as the remarkable woman. I can't even remember the rest of the words he said. I said, oh my gosh, I don't know what to say. Registered nurse and Oneida elder Pearl Webster has always been a woman of actions over words. She's not one for the cameras either, except to show us her latest project, the safe shelter that opened on the Oneida Nation in November. This was a former Oneida Nation accounting building. And if you can picture this whole area in here filled with cubicles. A true visionary when it came to transforming this business space into a place where families native and otherwise could feel at home during a time of crisis. We have a, a children's playroom where the children can play and the, the parents can get their jobs done on the computers over there. It is the culmination of a life dedicated to the health and well-being of others. The Pulaski High School graduate always knew she wanted to be a nurse, and early on, she distinguished herself by spearheading a tuberculosis screening program for the Oneida people and locally eradicated a disease which devastated so many. That I'm unsure. Pearl would continue her education all the way up to a Master's of Science in Nursing Management, allowing her to take on the groundbreaking role as creator of the Occupational Health Department and then as a teacher for younger nursing professionals. But I was their first course, and my goal was to keep them in the program. We, we did not have any failures on the state nursing exam. Along the way, she raised a family. The son who nominated her as a remarkable woman says, growing up, the kids never felt deprived of her attention. Mom was always there, um, you know, whether it be caring for us when we were sick or making sure that we were behaving ourselves on the weekends. And, you know, I remember her having to take the science classes and the math classes. And, you know, for a returning adult student, that was very difficult for her, but she managed. She did it all. Even at a time when retirement was so richly deserved, Pearl embarked on her biggest project yet. I want to give back to the Oneida Nation just some of what they provided for me, my education and all those things. A sense of accomplishment comes from Pearl each time she sees a family leave the shelter to embark on life on their own. And in two short months, the safe shelter has seen half a dozen families do that. Remarkable. And this will be my last. <laughs> <laughs> My last hurrah, so to speak. She's definitely a standout, you know. So, it's my mom. <laughs> and you can meet Pearl and our other finalists during our Remarkable Women's Special the night of March 31st, starting at 6.30, right here and only on Local 5.